There's a bit of a shakeup in the top levels of the federal government. Seamus O'Regan, the Minister of Labour, is leaving Cabinet and will not run in the next election. O'Regan has been an MP from Newfoundland and Labrador for nine years. He has long been a close friend of Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. David Aiken is with me from Ottawa. David, is this purely a personal decision or could there be politics at play here? Well, I think it's purely personal. In fact, I was talking to Minister Reagan today, and he tells me it is simply time after nine years as an MP to put family first. His dad recently passed away. His mother is a bit older. He wants to be home in St. John's. Now, filling his position as Minister of Labour should be pretty simple and easy. Cabinet Minister Karina Gould <coughs> is returning from parental leave, and she is likely to take that Labour portfolio, or, this is a little bit less likely, she would resume her duties as government house leader, and the temporary government house leader, Stephen McKinnon, moves to Labour. But either way, that's going to be it. Shuffle tomorrow at Rideau Hall, or a swearing in at Rideau Hall. And then after that, Trudeau will hold his first cabinet meeting, cabinet meeting since that Liberal loss in Toronto St. Paul's, and after that, we expect the Prime Minister to begin his summer vacation. Donna? Okay, and David, there is news tonight, too, about Foreign Affairs Minister Melanie Jolie. She is in China, the first visit there by a high-level Canadian politician in about seven years. What can we read into this? Yeah, it's being positioned by both sides, really, as a beginning, a first step to a warm-up of what really is an ice-cold relationship. I think this is a good time for uh, a, a joint meeting and uh, there are things like environmental protection, climate change, health, where we have a lot in common and can collaborate. Relations have been in a deep freeze since 2018 when Canada arrested Chinese business executive Meng Wanzhou at the Vancouver International Airport. A furious Chinese government then arrested the two Michaels. They would be released in 2021. but. By then, there were allegations of Chinese foreign interference, including attempts by Chinese officials to bully Canadian politicians like New Democrat Jenny Kwan and Conservative Michael Chong. Chong, in fact, encouraged Jolie Thursday to bring up foreign interference, even though China wants to hear nothing about it. They would like Canada to downplay our uh, in investigations into foreign interference. They say that China doesn't interfere. Well, we have ample proof that they do. And so I think that's going to be a hard sell for Jolie. Jolie, in a statement, was mum on specific agenda items, saying only, quote, we must maintain open lines of communication and use diplomacy to challenge where we ought to while seeking cooperation in areas that matter most to Canadians. But we do know Canada wants the Chinese government to allow Chinese tour groups to once again be able to visit Canada. They cannot right now. And China wants to find a way to sell cheap made in China electric vehicles here. Now it's a short visit just one day and then Jolie heads to Japan. Donna. Hi David Aiken in Ottawa tonight. Thanks David.